If you hand edit KML with basic text editors like Notepad, you're probably woefully familiar with Google Earth error messages like this, parse error on line 8. Well, instead of waiting until you open your file in Google Earth to discover errors in your KML, this video tutorial will show you how to use JEdit, which can validate your KML as you type. The first step is to make sure that you have the Java runtime environment installed on your computer. If you don't have it already, you can get it at java.com. Next, go to jedit.org and install the latest stable version of jedit, which is currently 4.2. Once the program's on your computer, go ahead and launch jedit. First, we need to install some plugins to work with XML documents. So click on the Plugins menu, Plugins Manager. Then click on the Install tab. Click on Download Options, and then Update Mirror List. Pick a location that's geographically close to you. Click OK. The list of plugins will refresh. Go ahead and sort this alphabetically by clicking on the Name column. Then scroll down to the bottom because we're looking for the XML plugin. Once you've found it, check XML and then click Install. The XML plugin and a few associated plugins will automatically download and install. Next, we'll have to set some plugin options. So when it's finished, go ahead and close the Plugins Manager then click on the Plugins menu again, and this time choose Plugin Options. First, make sure that you've selected Air List, and then check off Automatically Display on Air. This will automatically open a window with problems as they're discovered. Then click on the Sidekick plugin, expand it, and then click on General. Check off Parse on Keystroke, and adjust the time slider to about half of a second. This will parse or read the document searching for errors about half a second after you finish typing. Next, let's check the XML plugin settings, expand it, then click on General, and make sure that Validate if DDT or Schema available is checked. Now go ahead and click OK. Finally, we need to dock our plugins to the bottom and sides, so click on Plugins, Error List, Error List. Sometimes Error List opens up behind JEdit so you might have to go down to the taskbar to pull it up. Then click on the little black arrow in the upper left and choose Dock at Bottom. You can always adjust the size of a plugin docked on the sides or bottoms by dragging it and also by clicking its name you can close and hide it. Then click on Plugins, Sidekick, and Structure Browser. And then dock this one to the left. Great, now we're ready to start working with some KML.